This is amazing. Now we have Magpie. Using this, you are able to generate synthetic data from scratch using large language model with nothing. So don't need to provide any instruction, but it can automatically generate synthetic data. So why we need synthetic data? To train a large language model, we need data. When we create that data manually, it's time consuming. But if we have a way to automatically generate these data, then we can train a model much quicker with low cost and less time. So how Magpie solves this issue? Before going into that, I want to show this to you. You can see the data set generated from Magpie is outperforming the base model Llama 3 Instruct. So Magpie data set is used to train Llama 3 Instruct model and it's able to outperform many of the models as you can see here. When we see in the paper, we can see using the synthetic data when trained on a base instruct model, it is able to outperform that on all these tasks. So what is Magpie and how the data gets generated and how you can use the same concept to generate a synthetic data, which will look like this. So you will have an instruction and also the answer. Same like an instruct data set. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Magpie. So how Magpie is able to generate a synthetic data from nothing. So when you take a large language model, generally you will ask a question and you will get a response. But behind the scenes, whenever you ask a question, automatically tags will get added. So you don't see this in the front end, but before a question or query, there is a tag like this. And after the question, there's a tag like this. Same like that, before the response, there's a tag like this. And after response, there's a tag like this. Whenever we provide a question like this with these tags, you will get a response like this with tags. So what is different in Magpie? Instead of asking the whole question like this, they just gave the first tag. So as soon as you provide the first tag, so the way the large language model works is that predicting the next letter. So just by providing this tag, it predicts the next letter and it can automatically generate the full question for you. So each time it randomly generates a question. So as soon as a question gets generated, that question will be asked back to the same large language model to get a response. By doing this multiple times, you are able to automatically generate the question and the response using the same large language model with nothing. Let's take an example. Let's take Llama 3. So in the documentation, you can see all the tags. They are mentioned as special tokens. So beginning of the text, this is the tag, and end of the text, this is the tag. Here they have given an example, beginning of a text, then you have a system message with all these tags. Then we are providing the system instruction with end of turn ID. So instead of providing this whole question to the large language model, we are going to provide only the first pre-query tag. Then this question will get automatically generated and the same question will be asked to the large language model to get a response like this. So that's what we see in the paper here. So we are giving the pre-query templates and using that, the large language model is automatically generating the question and then it's asking itself what's the answer for that. So it's automatically generating its own answer. Then immediately after that, we are again providing with the pre-query template to the large language model. Then it again generates a question and that question is again fed back within the template. Then that template is again sent back to the large language model. So this is like a loop. So the large language model is self generating its question and then it's automatically responding to those questions. We store the data and we can use that data to train our own large language model. As a result, we see the result is much better than the base Llama 3 instruct model. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can generate the data like this and try and test with your own large language model. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So we got the Magpie repo here. So first up, we are going to clone this repo. I'm going to use Mast Compute to perform this task. So using this, you get cheaper GPUs. Just type Mervin Prison to get 50% off. You can see the configuration here. For now, I'm using four GPU, but 
Even just one GPU is fine for this task. First step, git clone github.com magpy align slash magpy and then click enter. Next, navigate to the magpy folder. Here you can create a virtual environment just to keep everything separate from other projects. Conda create hyphen in magpy python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate magpy. Now after this, there is requirements.txt file. So inside that, if you open it, for some reason I had to disable this face GPU because it's not installing. So I just disabled it and then saving the file. You can also use nano requirements.txt and then here you can add hash. Click Ctrl O to save and Ctrl X to exit. Next pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. Here we are using Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. So here you can see you have been granted access to this model. So in your case, you might need to fill a form to request access because we are going to use Llama 3 8 billion parameter model. So once after you receive your access, then you need to generate access tokens from your settings page from Hugging Face. So that is used to download the model. Now after this, you need to log in to Hugging Face from the CLI. To do that, Hugging Face hyphen CLI login and then click enter. This will automatically ask the Hugging Face token which you have just generated. Just paste it here. Now in the same folder, you can see there is a file called demo.ipynb. So that's where we are going to try this. Also, we have scripts. Running scripts is very easy if you want to try that, if you're a beginner. So you just need to go to CD scripts and then bash magpy.sh. You can see the different models which can be used. If you go into scripts, there is magpy scripts for various large language model. You just need to type bash and then the large language model to generate the synthetic data from nothing. In my case, I'm going to show you how you can do that using a notebook, demo.ipynb. So I've just opened that in my VS code. By clicking the Python kernel, you're choosing the MacPy virtual environment, which you just created using Conda, and we are ready to run. First, we are mentioning the Llama 3 8 billion parameter model here, and we are initiating the pipeline using transformers.pipeline. It's just text generation, providing the model ID, and providing the device. Just running this. These are just configurations. Now it has completed. Now let's go to the next block and click play. And here we can see this is the pre-query we are giving to the large language model from the model config. So pre-query template. So by just providing this pre-query template, we are able to generate a question. So the first step is to generate question. That is the instruction. So here we are creating another pipeline, providing the end of token ID, EOT ID. So we saw that in here, EOT ID. That means end of the instruction or end of the question. So if you see here, EOT ID. So we are providing this first, and then we are telling this is the end of the question or the instruction. Then the large language model is going to generate this question. So that's exactly happening here. We are providing the EOT ID as a terminator and extract input. That is the input we are providing. That is the, we are not providing any question. We are just providing the pre-query template. Then it's going to automatically predict the next letter. So going to run this. Now with the pre-query template, here is the instruction. So it automatically generated this instruction or the question. I've been having trouble finding a good fit for a job and I've been trying different approaches, but nothing seemed to be working. What do I do? So it automatically generated that question. Now the next step is again, we are asking large language model Llama 3 to generate answer for that. So step number two, generating response from the previous question. So we're getting the conversation template and appending the instruction. That is the question. And then we are sending that question as prompt to the large language model again, with again the terminators, EOT ID. Then immediately you can see after playing this and just playing here. And finally, we got the response here. So the question we asked is, I've been having trouble finding a good fit for a job. What should I do? And the assistant responds, I'm so sorry to hear about you're struggling to find a good job fit. And it's giving me a list of step. Take a step back and reflect, update your job search approach, reevaluate your job requirements, enhance your skills, work on a personal brand, network strategically, and much more. So you can see automatically generate the question and answer. So similarly, by repeating this process, you are able to generate this synthetic data and again, feed the same question and answer back to the Llama 3 model to make the model much better. This is exciting. So here we saw it generated one question and one answer. So as I mentioned before, you got scripts in the MacPy repo folder and you can just try 
the whole batch creation that is batch data generation by navigating to CD scripts bash magpie.sh. That's it. I'm really excited about this. Now you are able to generate synthetic data from nothing. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.